Good morning and welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. I will say this one might not be as cheery as my normal ones because I haven't been feeling very well. I ate out maybe two days ago, two nights ago now, and something just did not agree with me. Like it hasn't been sitting very well without going into too much detail. So I've been feeling a bit sorry for myself, but as Mark said last night, he said, have you been drinking enough water? And I was like, mm, probably not. And he raised his hand to me and he was like, I don't want to hear it until you've been replenishing your hydration sources and you've been drinking lots of water. So I've got some squash because I'm a child. So I'm trying to drink lots of water, make myself feel better. And yesterday was a bit of a write off. I did some stuff. I figured that doing anything was better than nothing but it definitely wasn't my most productive or positive day. But today I'm like, no, I have to, <laughs> because next week, hopefully, um, Lily and I are going away to Stockholm. She's gonna be doing some work out there and I'm basically just going along with her for the ride, slash I'm a stage one clinger on. So <laughs> we're doing that next week. And then the week after that, we're going to New York on a trip. So there's lots going on. So this is my kind of final week to like get shit done. So by the time you see this up on Wednesday, Lily and I will be away and I don't think I'm going to do a vlog from Stockholm because I did one before and I think we're doing some like quite similar things and Lily's there for a job so you know she'll be vlogging it so there'll definitely be something up on her channel but I think the New York one will probably be up two weeks from now so there will be like a Anna gets out the house vlog <laughs> coming soon because um, yeah I'm like oh my god all I seem to do in these vlogs is just hang around the flat and like do work, which is very boring for you, I'm sure. But hey, it's realistic and that is life sometimes. So this is another edition of Anna leaves the house to do Pilates and really not much else. But I'm hopefully gonna spice it up because today when this video goes live, marks one year exactly since I rebranded the blog and like re sort of started it all as the Anna edit. I can't believe it's been a year, but then I also can't believe it's only been a year because it sort of feels like it's been the Anna edit forever. But I thought sort of throughout this vlog, I would talk through some of my highlights of the last year. I sort of show you some of my favorite clips from the vlogs, like a little, this is your lifestyle, yearly annual look back. I don't know what I'm going on about. Um, but I do need to start putting these away. Let's do that. So yeah, I hope you're all having a good week. This week has been, oh my god, look at the size of this knife. This is actually terrifying. This knife is too big. Mark keeps using it to like chop up carrots. I'm like, what are you doing? It's massive. He's cutting himself. Um, so yeah, this week has been good. Like I said, I know I keep banging on about this, but I've just had a lot of at home time and that has been very advantageous to my sort of getting stuff done and being quite productive and today i need to film a video a video that you guys will see on sunday it's basically going to be a kind of a home office tour so i thought i'd show you a bit of a behind the scenes of that as well but yeah i think that's kind of it for now you probably can't see anything because the sun is like completely blinding right now um, but I will check in when I have something interesting to say. Some other news to update you on. I know I don't normally show you the bathroom because it's just my least favorite room of the flat and it needed some renovation. So we started the renovation. If I hated being in my bathroom before, I mean, now it's like a whole new level of gross and disgusting. So I literally, I like run in, have a shower and like run out again. But I did want to show you something here because I've got something new in my skincare routine. Actually two new things. I'm going to be doing a blog post on these soon, so keep an eye out for that. But I did a bit of a Selfridges haul and I picked up this. I actually think it's out of stock on Selfridges now, which is really annoying because it's new and basically everyone was buying it. But it's the Dr. Jar Ceramidin. Ceramidin? Caroline loves it. Lily really loves it. She kept going on about this and I thought it would be nice just to have another option, especially if this one's good for travel. I really like the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich and I'd say this is quite similar but just easier to travel with because it's in a tube and it's lighter and smaller. So that is really good. And then also this. Oh my god, it's another Dr. Jar one. This is the Premium BB Multi Action Skincare and Makeup SPF. Oh, it's 45. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, I think this was only about £30 and I didn't realise just how tinted it would be, like it properly, it's like foundation basically. I used to use the water fuse back in the day, like the greeny one, and that was always really good. This is supposedly like the premium one with like more skincare benefits and I don't know if it's got more coverage but it definitely feels like it's got more coverage in it. But it's really, 
really nice. Just super impressed with this. Because I always sit and do my makeup and stuff, I will spare you that footage, but I thought I would just show you a quick before. So this is before I use this. And then I will show you after. And also I had my brows done the other day, finally. I literally felt like a new woman. And my beautician, Jamie, she was laughing because I was smiling. I was just like, had like a smile on my face because she was trimming them brows. She was doing all the good things and it felt so good. My eyebrows have got to the point where they were itchy. It was horrible. And so they've had the tint put through them. So I always think they look a bit like, whoa, a bit angry birds for like the first kind of three, four days, which we're in right now. So by next week, they would have uh, definitely gone down. I also got my lashes lifted as well. I love it. Look at that. I haven't even used an eyelash curler. The dream, literally the dream, but before, and then I'll show you after. This is after. I don't know if it's gonna look any different on camera, and I've got kind of a couple of patches of redness which will go down in like 10 minutes or so, but I just feel like it evens everything out. It's kind of nice and glowy. It's got a bit of warmth in it, which I appreciate because I have not been fake tanning this summer at all. So I kind of appreciate that little bit of glow it's got in it, and I just feel like put some mascara on, put a bit of lip balm on, basically you're done. I'm gonna leave my makeup here because I'm going to Pilates this morning, then coming back, then filming a video. So I will do a full face then. I'm just sitting and editing what I've already filmed and I've just also sorted out my expenses for August. August expenses, that is always really fun. So just a bit of admin-y kind of stuff. But I thought I would start with my first highlight of the past year and why I think that the past year has been absolutely awesome. Now don't get me wrong, shit things have happened in the last year as well, but I feel like overall, it was a very good year and I feel like as I near my 30s, I just am much more sure of myself. I'm not sure that's the right way of putting it, but I just think something like clicks and you kind of don't really, don't, not don't really care as much, it's not the right thing. I do know what I mean, like you just sort of chill out a bit more, you're just a bit more sure of yourself, you're more sure of what you want out of life, like where it's going. And I guess overall it's been a very happy year. So the first kind of big memory is actually launching the Anna edit because I was shitting myself. <laughs> like I'd sat on that name and the whole like website and everything being new and the logos and everything for about nine months. I think I actually bought the domain in the Christmas time and then we launched it kind of, I think it was like, yeah, what was this date? What, the 30th of August? So it was a whole nine months of just sort of sitting on it and waiting and not being 100% happy with what I was doing at that time because I knew that it was going to take time for the new thing to happen. So I was so terrified just because it's really scary. It's like a big change and Viviana does makeup I'd had for so long and it's very makeup based and this was definitely moving into something that was more like lifestyle and not as beauty focused. It was kind of terrifying, but it just really felt like the right thing to do. And I'm so, 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 so thankful for your guys' reactions because you were just, you couldn't have been nicer about it. Literally, the, the general mood was like, yeah, of course, like this makes so much sense for you and it's just the right move to make. And yeah, that was very terrifying. And we actually spent a, the couple of days before we launched the new blog in Stockholm. Mark and I went to Stockholm. We were supposed to go with our friends and sadly one of our friends lost her passport before we left, but only realized like a couple of days before. So they couldn't come with us, which was a real shame. But we had a really good time out there. And whenever I watch that vlog, because sometimes I do watch my vlogs back because I'm an absolute loser, especially the travel ones, because they're just, it's nice to relive those memories. And that vlog, just fills me with excitement when I watch it because we had such a good time when we were there and I'm so excited that I get to go back again like when you see this video me and Lily will be there and so I'm so excited that I get to go back because I just think it's one of my favorite cities it's so lovely and peaceful and relaxed and the people are lovely the weather was pretty good when we were there and it's just a very beautiful place so it was that coupled with the fact that I would then come back to the hotel room and sit and have a Skype with the web designer Jay as he would like show me what I actually had to do on the website. So it was a really exciting time. And whenever I think of Stockholm, I think of the Anna Edit rebirth. I think of eating lots of Swedish red fish, which is like the best sweets ever. And it was a very exciting time. So I've left the house. I'm a bit worried that something bad is gonna happen. I don't feel very well. <laughs> Um, I did remember my sunglasses, but I did forget a hairband, so um, this, is, this is not boding well. I'm also very worried that I'm going to let out some kind of like atomic toxic fart that's going to cause people to pass out or something, so I'll keep you updated because I'm sure that's something that you want to be updated on. Pilates update, I survived. Um, the first 15 minutes was just 
pure abs which are the most delicate part of my body right now so that was a bit hard and afterwards I think I looked a bit pale in the face but I got through it, came back, spoke to my dad on the way home, ended up speaking to him for like an hour on the phone, there's something that I'm working on. I've got an idea and I completely didn't match up the dots that he is the right person to talk to about this. He knows so much about this topic. It was amazing, it had a really good coming up with ideas, concepts, he was just chatting away and it was very helpful. I'm very lucky to have parents that are just very supportive of what I do and my dad especially is very helpful and very involved in what I do and that's just really nice. So now I'm gonna eat some lunch but I thought I would throw in another quick memory. Um, I actually did like, I didn't do Vlogmas last year but I did do four lots of weekly vlogs in the run up to Christmas. So I did kind of Christmas vlogs and I just really loved them. I thought that was a really nice way of doing Vlogmas but not as intense and especially because this year we're going to be away. I'm going to be having my little like month long digital detox so there won't be any Christmas content this year but the Christmas content from last year is kind of cute and there's a section where Mark and I are putting up the tree and whenever I watch that it just makes me feel very nostalgic and very happy and I think Mark is great. That's about as soppy as I'm gonna get but I think Christmas is always a really interesting time because there's no kids in our family at the moment, like me and my sister, no one has kids and I just feel like there's probably not gonna be a load of Christmases, like there's still be a couple of Christmases where we haven't got kids but having kids at Christmas just seems like the best thing and I'm so excited for that. So in a couple of years time, hopefully there'll be a kid or two and I'm so excited for that moment. So it's quite nice to enjoy these like kid free adult Christmases um, because hopefully they'll be cute. People think I'm pregnant now. When I talk about kids, people are like, oh my God, that means you're like pregnant now. No, definitely not for like another year or two or three, but I just am at that stage where I'm like looking forward to that moment. And my friend who has a kid, it is super adorable, but God give me a couple of years yet. So this is quite a random lunch, but I'm basically just using lots of stuff up. I had some avocado to use up, so I just smushed it up and kind of made like a mini guacamole. I had some veggie burgers that are very burnt, just reheated those, thought I'd have it with an egg, and of course, lots of tomato ketchup because it's the best condiment in the whole entire world. Just filmed a home office tour. There you go, there's my camera. Laptop on the floor. Yep, you know, you definitely didn't see that there. There you go. That was actually surprisingly easier than I thought. It was one of those things that in my head was gonna take like hours to film and I needed like someone to come and help me with like a fancy gimbal camera something or rather, you know what I mean? But actually it was so much more relaxed and chilled just to do it on my own with a tripod. And I think, I think it's gonna turn out all right. So that'll be up on Sunday. But filming the outro to that video reminded me of two things. The first thing of which is that of course there's a blog post to go with this video as always. I'll make sure it's linked down below for you, but it's basically just a look back on like last year and why I felt the need to change my name and just kind of about, yeah, how terrified I was and how I felt like it was the right thing to do and looking back on it a year later and being like, yeah, that, that worked very well and I'm very lucky and thank you to you lot. So definitely check that out. And we recreated the photos from the original post of like, welcome to the Anna edits. That was so funny. Like our palm tree is so much bigger. I feel very proud of our palm. And the second thing is about the newsletter because the newsletter is happening, it's written, it's being designed and I should have a sign up link by the time this video goes live. Hopefully, I said that in my last vlog and it wasn't ready and people were like, oh my God, what's going on? Where's this link? It should be ready. I don't wanna have to regret saying that, but if it is, it will be in the description box and it'll be like when you go to the Anna Edit kind of homepage, there should be a section on there. So hopefully that is there, but time to throw another highlight of the last year at you. I love doing this and I still can't believe I actually did it. I went to Thailand on my own. I think it was back in February time. It was for a retreat and I did know Zana. Zana was there, you know, my friend Zana Van Dyke, the really tall blonde one who's like super fit and amazing. I'm going away with her actually in October. I'm very excited for it. Um, but she was training over there in this retreat, this New Horizons like health retreat. I've done a blog post on it. I've done a vlog and there's, there's loads of content from it but it was actually so much fun. It was kind of terrifying. I'm not the biggest fan of flying and flying for, I think it was like an 18 hour flight in total. I took three flights there, three flights back on my own, managed to navigate myself around. And obviously once I was there, I was with a group of people, I was with Zana, but actually traveling on my own was really quite fun. I don't know, I quite liked it. I would definitely do it again, would highly recommend. And you just feel so badass at the end of it because you're like, oh, I did that on my own, go girl. And also the retreat itself. I met such 
lovely ladies, a couple of whom I'm still in contact with now because they were just so nice, like one of them, Catherine especially, we message all the time and I feel really lucky to have met such lovely women doing it and we just worked out and ate and explored Koh Samui and I did things like paddle boarding, we did lots of hikes. It was just really, really fun. That was definitely a highlight for sure. I was on a bit of an editing roll, but I was just waiting for some footage to be uploaded. And I thought, oh, I'll see what's going on on Spotify. Cause sometimes when I'm just waiting for like things like that to happen, they're gonna take five minutes. It's really fun just to put on a song and sing really loudly cause there's no one in the house right now. Although I'm pretty sure the next door neighbors are in their garden and would be able to hear me. So I went on the throwback Thursday playlist cause it is Thursday and it is so, Good, it's called, I've actually downloaded it. I was like, I need this playlist. It says, this week it's a sing-along indie hits takeover. Kate Nash Foundations. It's basically all my teenage, like angsty relationships just in one song. It's so good, it really takes me back. And I just love it, and I sing it really loudly. And it's got klaxons on it. <laughs> Electric Phil, MGMT. Vampire Weekend, The Strokes. Oh my god, Panic at the Disco, Can't Stand Me Now, The Libertines. I have downloaded this because I feel like this will be a really good thing to listen to when Mark and I are in New Zealand on like really long road trips because he will like those songs too. Um, oh, Kay Nash, Foundations. It just, I love that song so much. So the hair has gone up in the head. That is how you know that things have got serious. <laughs> um, but I've just edited and uploaded and scheduled that home office tour, which I'm really surprised. I really think I would get that done today. I'm still not feeling too great. Um, but yeah, that managed, I, I don't know how that happened, but I'm really chuffed that that is all ready to go. And so I'm just gonna answer up some emails before Mark gets home. But I thought I would talk you through another highlight of the year, which has definitely been going to New York. Like, I don't know, it, it's weird. Like last year, for some reason, I ended up going to LA a few times. I think I went twice last year, which is just, I never thought that going to LA like twice in a year would be something that would ever happen in my lifetime, let alone like in a job sort of setting. But for some reason, New York is where it's at this year. And I've already been twice. And I'm actually going again in a week's time, which is completely nuts, but I love it. It's so nice to go back to these cities repeatedly because then you can live like a local and that is my favorite thing to do when I go away. It obviously it's lovely to see the sites and go around museums and do all those kinds of things. But with New York, because I think I've been about six times in total now, it's, I've, I've done those things. I've been to the Statue of Liberty, I've done Central Park, all of that. It's actually a vlog from when I went with Mark and it was Mark's first time there. So we did all of those things. I like literally was just ticking off that tourist list. So because I've done them, I don't feel guilty for not doing them every time I go back. And it's just nice to like go to Pilates classes and go to cafes and restaurants and just wander around and pretend that you live there, but you've just got the day off work. Like getting your nails done, get my nails done at Paintbox. The last time I went was seriously so nice. Cause that way it's just really relaxing. Cause you just feel like you're a New Yorker with a day off. I absolutely love it. And it was so nice to go with Lily as well, like a month or two ago. We just had so much fun there. And it was great to hang out with her friend Keisha and we did lots of eating. The Bond Street sushi is still something that I think about now. And like, I really hope we get to go next time we go back as well. Cause it was just so lovely, but it's just been really nice to get to know another city a bit more. I just think it's a lovely city. Always have a good laugh when we're there. I mean, obviously the shopping is amazing, but it is, it's just like a nice feel. And September is a really lovely time to go. The weather is perfect. So I'm really looking forward to going in like two weeks time. Ah. So Mark is home and we're cooking dinner and I cooked a dinner from this tonight. It is Vanna Van Dyke, my, my pal. It's her book, Strong, and we are making this, which is a lemon and dill pollock with sweet potato and beetroot mash, except our local supermarket didn't have pollock, so we're having it with cod, and it was on special, so it's cheap, yay. And also, I'm not putting the dill on it because I just, I just don't really like dill that much. Yeah, to me, it's a bit fennel-y, and I'm like, mm, not sure how I feel about that. Um, so, Mark is back from work. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, is that my cue? Yeah. Hello everyone. In today's vlog, I've been talking about my highlights of the past year of oh. the Anna edit. And what would you say is your highlight, your biggest highlight? Of the year? When we got married. <laughs> that was with no prompting. That was going to be my final highlight too. I've been doing them in chronological order with the wedding as the final one. Yeah. That was my highlight too. It was awesome. Oh. Being married is good. So you've been Anna edit for a year? Yeah, on the, when this vlog goes up, it'll be a whole year. Oh really? Yeah, 13th of August. Maybe we should 
I was gonna say, maybe we should have a celebratory meal. I'm gonna end it here because it's time for dinner and I'm really, really hungry. And then we're probably just gonna watch Wet Hot Summer in bed, which is what I say at the end of every vlog. But I promise you, the next vlog is gonna be, it's a fun one. It's actually gonna be like drugstore based. There'll be a haul, there'll be recommendations. I think you'll love it. And then after that, I promise there'll be a fun one where I actually venture outside. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope I haven't been too grumpy. And I will see you on Sunday with that home office tour. See you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.